Now I'm only just in the field, uh, seen this buzzard rise up into this nearby tree. He's obviously looking a bite of supper before bedtime. Now this next clip is every hunter's nightmare. I hate wounding things. It's not fair in a quarry and it's a bad image for our sport. And I fluffed the shot in this one badly. But thankfully he stopped before he ran into the hedge and I managed to redeem myself with a clean headshot. Please always try and dispatch your quarry even if you've wounded it. Now something's been eating away at this uh, young rabbit here. And by the looks of this fella, that's our friend the buzzard. And before I get five feet away, I just catch the sight of him coming over the top of these trees. Looking to see if his dinner's still sitting out for him. Now this is a few fields further on. And I've spied a rabbit down in the bottom corner here. The ground slopes away from me, so I'm getting close to the ground, taking my game bag and sticks off. I'm going to try to crawl closer, using the contours of the ground to hide me. The rabbit I'm sure probably has seen me, but as long as I don't make any sudden moves or noises, it should be okay. I get myself into a comfortable shooting position and then decide I've got time to uh, get my rangefinder out of my pocket and uh, take a quick range finding at him. That's about 55 yards. And since I'm using a 30 foot pound air rifle, that's well within its limits. I give him a squeak or two to try and get him to raise his head up out of the grass. And he just turns sideways onto me. And he's down. I'm sorry about the blood, but it goes part and parcel with hunting, I'm afraid. There's the pellet impact just below the eye. Now I'm just through this gateway here, and I spy a rabbit standing bolt upright out of the grass on my right hand side. So I raise the rifle up to my shoulder and take a free hand 25 yard shot. just pick this rabbit up and put it in the game bag with the rest of them. You can probably hear the mowers cutting away in the background. Farmers are cutting silage flat out night and day this time of year, any time they get good weather at all. As there's been years gone by, whether it's been that wet, they haven't been able to get out into the field to cut the silage. And we'll just do a quick fill up with the magazine here before we move on. There's a couple more fields I can check before I go home. That's a lovely summer sunset. Now this field here, the grass is only cut a week ago, and I fluffed the shot here, putting it well over the top of this rabbit. I think I got my range very badly wrong there. But I reload and follow the rabbit with the rifle only the same jump into the hedge out of the road. Well that's the way it goes sometimes. This field here the grasses grew up quite tall making it hard to see the rabbits but I get a headshot with this one. And about 50 yards further on I get another opportunity. I allow a little to the right for the wind here but for some reason even though the pellet struck the rabbit in the head it didn't take a direct route through the brain allowing them to jump like this but thankfully at the end of the day he ended up in the game bag. Another nice evening and another few rabbits in the bag.